Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers! Happy Monday. Hope everybody's doing well. So it looks like this whole Candy, SWV, Tamar situation is an official Dragon Ball T series. So if you guys do not know, over the weekend, Eva Marcel um, ended up having an interview with TMZ about the situation. And let me bring this back. Back in December, when Tamar was first talking about somebody's husband, um, you know, this husband and wife couple getting in her face, she made it known that the person was a city official for some strange reason. Um, I didn't know Todd held any type of office in the city. But this is what Tamar said back then. She says, I got a story. Y'all want to hear about it? I was threatened by a peach and they man. I feel if I did what they did, they would have told the world, but because they don't want y'all to know how effed up they are as people and city officials, they ain't said shit. It's beef and it's real beef because your husband stepped to me, period. Merry Christmas. So that is what she wrote back in December. So remember when I was telling y'all before, a lot of people thought it was Eva Marcel and her husband because her husband is actually an official in Atlanta. And um, it was not her, her husband. So this is the interview that she did with TMZ. Y'all go ahead and check this out. But well, she put out like a vague message, like yeah. some uh, housewife and their husband who's a politician. Which yours my is recollection, <laughs> yeah. my husband is the only politician in the history of housewives. Right. So right. one would only assume that they're talking about me. And yeah. so Tamar hit me up. And my, um, personally, and was like, oh my God, E, I'm so sorry. It looks like this shit is getting crazy. Like, <laughs> well, it's I like want to apologize. And I'm like, yeah. why don't you just direct, like, directly talk to her? Yeah. Like, just, just say who it is and yeah. deal with what it is. Because the speculation is it, shit. I don't like it. So that's how that's escalated to, like, yes. now it's like, yo, it's yes. out in the open. It was a funky situation. I think it was dealt with very immaturely because... Tamar obviously has a problem with Candy. Something happened. I rock with Candy Burris Tucker the long way. That's my yeah. friend. Tamar, I've known her for years. She's good people. But the way she went about it, she knew the way she posted was going to make people speculate. She could have yeah. been very direct and said, yeah. Candy stepped to me and it was yeah. some bullshit. So as far as Candy and, and, and Tamar resolving, yeah. I don't know because I didn't know they had a problem. Right, right, right. I don't right. think they knew they had a problem. So right. as far as their resolution, I'm very hopeful. I think I never say never. And it strengthens numbers. They're both amazing artists. They're over there yeah. selling out shows. Like, yeah. figure out the bullshit and go sing your music. All right. So you guys just saw what Eva Marcel had to say about the situation. And I definitely agree with her. I think Tamar was being messy by even trying to. I think the reason why she said an official is because she didn't want to come out and just say Candy and Todd. So she kind of threw Eva and her husband under the bus so people could try and, you know, be confused as to who it was. So let me say it's Candy and Todd without saying it's Candy and Todd. But let me add Eva and her husband in the mix because her husband's an official, so people don't know right away that it's Candy and Todd. So anyhow, so after that video went viral, um, Candy decided to speak on it on her show, her and Todd are talking about the entire situation with Tamar as well. So I want you guys to go ahead and check this out. Tamar and I, yes, we had words. When I first saw her, no, I was not having any t intention on having beef with Tamar, okay? That was not my intent. My plan was to just say, hey, and keep it pushing. I, she, she, what she did not say to you guys was she had already... Uh, unfollowed me on social media she did yeah i know she has you guys thinking that i was upset about the dish nation interview that was not what my issue was my issue was that after the dish nation interview she actually went in her story and reposted the person that i was having a problem with or whatever or past problems with 
she reposted them and put like, you ain't got to steal from nobody or some type of comment on her um, story as if what I was saying was a lie, which is what I had a problem with. It was like the person that I'm having an issue with, he's not even talking about this. So why are you involving yourself in our business? And why are you doubling down on it in your story if it's just about you know, you being interviewed on Dish Nation. So to be clear, it had nothing to do with Dish Nation. I know all those blogs and I mean, all those interviewers going to ask us uncomfortable questions and I get it. You know what I mean? That was not my problem. When I saw her, I, my intent was just to say hello, keep it pushing. I said hello. She wanted to know why I didn't give her extra. And at that point, that's when the conversation happened. Y'all clearly see that I have no problem of saying my side to any story. So that's why she and I started having the conversation in a hallway with a whole bunch of people. It was clearly two women trying to talk out an issue that they were having. And nobody was interrupting people were walking by it was like 30 people 30 people that walked by during the course of this conversation some parts of the conversation was very aggressive as far as the way we were talking to each other some parts were you know calm because we were trying to really work out whatever the issue was anyway so at some point in the conversation towards the end um, you know, she kept trying to say about the Dish Nation interview, and I was explaining to her that it wasn't about the Dish Nation interview, it was about the other things. And I don't know, it was because it was a lot of people in the out, you know, it was an audience or whatever. You know, we both was, you know, going back and forth, but I basically was saying to her, it would have been no different of me speaking on her argument with We TV when she was having that big drama with We TV. And if I would have reposted We TV and said that basically dissed what she was saying or made it seem like what she said was not important, you know what I mean? And I was that's that was what I was explaining to her. And then all of a sudden she, you know, oh, I, I ain't on the housewife. I can't be, you know, like all of a sudden now you want to talk about, you know, you don't do all this back and forth because I made a valid point, right? Um, and then yeah, at that point when she started doing all that, yeah, I started flipping. Okay. I just can't talk right now. And my husband, just as you've seen him do on many times on TV shows when I have arguments with people and start acting a little bit much. Okay, take some time. Because when I get like this, I don't think rationally. Take some time. Take some time. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. And he was like, Candy, stop. You already know what it is. Like, stop. That's what he was saying to me. He was not saying it to her. But I will allow my husband, Todd, to come in, say his side of the story. Well, actually, he already said his side of the story, so check it out. So I'm walking towards the side of the stage. I see homie, but the crazy thing is I've seen out in Atlanta. Like, I've seen him at, I go to this spot called Tribeca, Whiskey Mistress. So when I see him, I see him as a familiar face. I didn't know it was her dude, so I go dap him up. And then he's like, yo, I'm with Tamar now. I'm like, okay, cool, cool. He was like, yo, she told me that something happened. I'm just trying to figure out what happened. So for me, his tone and his energy is mad, calm, and cool. This one's some grown up shit. We talking like two grown men. So I'm not thinking this is a big deal thing. So, cause after I see all of this stuff, I threatened her, I tried to fight her. Now homie would have been coming a little differently. If you he, didn't say nothing, what are you talking about? You I'm saying? just saying what we've seen that she's saying now. That, oh, what's she saying? That, you know, that I tried to threaten her, I tried to fight her, homie's energy would have been much different. So homie wasn't coming with no type of negative energy. So we, we basically gave each other the same energy. He gave me calm and cool, I gave him calm and cool. So I explained to him what happened. You know, the same story you heard. I told my wife, yo, come on, man, let's go. You know what it is, da, da, da. Homie ain't have no problem with it. And then I went on to say, Yo, I've always been cool with Tamar. I've never had a problem with her. I explained to him what happened, da da da. Yo, you know, they were getting in this heated argument. It started escalating. I told my wife, yo, let's go. You know what it is, man. Let's go. Leave this shit alone. Homie, he didn't have no problem with that. He he didn't he didn't buck up like, yo, why you saying, you know, you know what it is. I never said that to her. I said that to my wife, and that was it. So then after that, I'm like, yo, I've never had a problem with Tamar. You know, we've always been cool. Even if my wife had a little tiff with her, 
I ain't had no problems with what they were dealing with. I see her out as love, hugs, whatever. So I'm like, yo, let's go talk to Tamar and just clear this shit up. Because my vibe is when the fellas are around, the energy is more calmer with the women. Like, they, we can kind of help them. He had came through the hallway. Everybody was kind of trying to get us, Tamar and I, to take the conversation into a private room so that everybody would not be, you know, able to hear what we were dis discussing. But, you know, we kept having a conversation. And it was cool for a minute until it wasn't. Simple as that. And I just want to say, y'all trying to make it, you know, y'all falling for that stuff, you know, saying, uh, you know, old Candy was being petty. But just to be clear, when she got fired from the reel, she had an issue with a few of the people in our circle for going on the reel just to be interviewed and stuff. Right, so you guys just heard everything that Candy and Todd had to say about the situation. So like I said, all of this stuff is messy and it's very interesting how this has been going on, this whole back and forth has been going on for a while. But one thing that Candy's going to do, she's definitely going to clear it up and she's going to get whatever is on her chest off of her chest. Even in this video, a lot of people were pointing out on Instagram that it does seem like Tamar did come there to start mess and that Tamar definitely feels a way, definitely felt a way about her friends going on to the real after she was fired. Because I remember I did a video a few years ago about Tamar unfollowing Toya, Monica, and Tiny and other people because they were still promoting their books and going on the reel. She thought all of these Atlanta people were supposed to side with her. And she found out that, no, they still had to feed their families. And so Candy was making that point before she got cut off. But I just think this whole situation was messy. And once again... I believe it was so Tamar could get more people to watch her reality TV show where she's looking for love and she wanted people to go out and buy her new song, Changed. So she felt like, hey, let me go ahead and add some extra sauce on the situation. Now, granted, she was asked the question on Watch What Happens Live, but, you know, even after that, it just kept escalating and kept snowballing and kept snowballing. So with that being said, Whose team are you guys on? Are you guys Team Tamar, Candy, and Todd? How do y'all feel about this situation? And then also, how do y'all feel about what even Marcel had to say and how she felt that her and her husband were thrown under the bus just for this whole drama that had nothing to do with her? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like the video. Feel free to share the video. And most importantly, make sure you still subscribe to the channel. I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.